Hey everybody, what we're going to do today is very quickly talk about this little contraption here known as an electroscope. An electroscope is a device we use in a physics classroom to detect charge and really just to kind of see how conductors and insulators behave. There really isn't a huge practical use when it comes to an electroscope. In fact, you can actually jump online and if you wanted to try this out, Google do-it-yourself electroscope and see if you can design your own uh, using some aluminum foil and, uh, and a hanger. But what you have here is a metal housing that is irrelevant to the actual device on the inside. This is just the housing. It is separated from everything. What I have here is a metal top. On the top there is a screw. That screw goes down and it connects to this piece of metal here. If I give you a slight different angle, this metallic structure that kind of has a little zigzag to it. Inside is a foil covered straw that has a needle through it. So all conductors, this thing's able to spin and rotate. And once it's balanced out there, all of this is one continuous piece of metal. This is separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our styrofoam, charge it up with our rabbit fur. In doing this, I know that I'm transferring negatives from the fur to the styrofoam. These two things should be oppositely charged. When I hold them, I definitely see an attraction between the two of them. And so what we know from our experience in class is that this right here is a negative source. So what I'm gonna do is a couple different demonstrations. Number one, I'm going to bring this negative source in to the top of our electroscope. And what I want you to do is watch what happens when this is brought in close. We would say that is a deflection. Take it away and it goes right back. Okay. goes back. So that is uh, phenomenon number one. Number two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in. I see that it deflects. And while it is deflecting, I'm going to bring my hand in and my hand is going to touch the top. So I'm going to reach in, touch the top, and I see that it goes and it is no longer deflected. I take my hand away and it deflects again. So two different phenomena that you are going to describe. Why is it that it deflected in the first place? And why is it that when it was deflected and I touched the top, what is it that my hand did to make this continue to deflect? And to start all over again, all I have to do is take my hand, boom, and just like that, we are back to no deflection. So. Three different questions there. Why did it deflect in the first place? Why does it stay deflected after I touch the top and then remove the source? And last, why does my hand undo everything? So give those some thought, answer those questions, and we will discuss it later. 